Chapter 16 Git Show The Git Show command will show us what exactly was included in any given commit. We've already made our first commit, the so-called root commit, but perhaps it was Friday evening, we logged off, and now we're back on Monday morning, and we can't exactly remember where we left things. The first thing to do in this scenario is to run git status. Git tells us we're on the main branch and that we have changes that are not staged for commit. Perhaps you have a good memory and remember that we changed the contents of our file from hello git to hello git, how are you? But if you're anything like me, you don't remember this, and so you'd like to see what the heck it was that you committed on Friday evening. If you want to know that, you can just ask Git to show us what's actually in this commit. To do so, we use the git show command, followed by the ID of the commit we want to see. We don't actually have to include the entire ID. All we need is the first four characters of the ID. If later we have plenty of commits and there are multiple commit IDs that start with these same four characters, Git will show us a list of all matching commits and ask us to be more specific. But for now, with only one commit, four characters is plenty. Just as with git log command, Git will show us all the metadata of the commit when we run git show. But this time around, it will also show us a diff, in other words, what exactly this commit changed. And we can see that this was a new file and that its contents are hello git. What we committed on Friday evening was what was in the staging area at that time, which was our file with hello git in it, and not our current version on disk, which has hello git, how are you in it. If we want to add this updated version of the file to the repository, we should first add it to the staging area with git add and then add it to the DAG with git commit. When you run the git commit command, git will open an editor to let you enter the commit message. If you'd like, you can specify the commit message on the command line with the minus "-m", flag, and then git will just use that. If you now run git status again, git will tell us there are no changes. It will say something like, nothing to commit, working tree clean. And when you hear working tree, you should just think working directory. Git is telling us that the files that are in our working directory hold the exact same data as what is stored in the DAG. If we run git log now, we see two commits. If we run git show with the first four characters of the second commit, we can see exactly what was changed. You probably won't be using the git show command that often. However, it's good to know that once a commit is added to the DAG, you can identify it with its ID and ask Git to tell you exactly what happened in this commit with the git show command.